why is this person here? Like, why is there a grave in the middle of a parking lot? And why are we taking photos like weirdos in a cemetery across from a playground? Well, there's a reason and I'm going to explain all of that real soon, so keep watching. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Instant Film Adventures. My name is Sam and I'm here to bring you along on my journey as I go through history and urban legends through the lens of instant photography. And I think this is going to be really fun. I'm super excited. So today I'm going to talk about final resting places and graves and they are quite interesting, let me tell you. The first grave we're visiting is the grave of Mary Ellis. So Mary Ellis was a young woman who traveled to New Brunswick, New Jersey to live with her sister in about the late 1700s. And while she was living there, she ended up falling in love with a man who turned out to be a sea captain. And one day he said, hey, I'm gonna go sail out to sea over on the Raritan River. While I'm gone, you can take care of my horse and think about me every single day. And when I do come back, I am going to marry you, girl. And every day since his departure, she would ride his horse down to the banks of the river and wait eagerly every day to see if she could spot his ship on the horizon. Guess what? He did not come back. So in 1828, 14 years later, she ended up passing away. Pretty much wasted her life away looking for this guy. I'm sorry, girl. Her body was buried on the piece of land that she purchased. So what's really strange about this, as you saw earlier, she is literally in the middle of a parking lot. But as you can see in this photo, there are two graves next to each other in the iron fence. There is only one in the parking lot. What happened to the other grave? Like, what was that other one? And on closer inspection, I did see that there are a couple names on that headstone. So I'm not sure if there's multiple people, like, in that little plot or if it's just Mary herself. And I do feel bad for her because I don't think she would have ever expected a parking lot to be on her farmland. So the Hoopar brothers were the ones that were buried there in 1693 and the tomb essentially reads, spectators, beneath this tomb lay two brothers, aged 12 and 10 years. They died within one day of eating poisoned mushrooms. Their names were Richard and Charles Hoopar and they died in 1693. The story I heard was that they skipped out on church and they decided to just go play and hang out in the woods. And the brothers ended up ingesting mushrooms they found off the floor and then they died the next day. We can only assume that it might have been the death cap mushroom. It says here, it says severe vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and that comes within 6 to 24 hours. And if that's not scary, then that's, I don't know. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching today and I hope you enjoyed. I know I didn't take that many photos today, so I'm sorry, but I don't want to take more photos than I should at a cemetery. I had a slight fear that I would capture a ghost on my camera. <laughs> I think it's really interesting to go out and learn some history if you see something weird or even just pick up like a weird state book. like learning your local legends or hearing true stories about what happened and honestly sometimes we just go throughout our day not realizing that we're passing so much history and stories and i think it's worth noting that we should keep that spirit alive <laughs> so i'll see you later bye guys <laughs>